Hello. Annoyingly, I've forgotten to turn slow chat off again. Let me just quickly stop and start the stream and I'll turn slow chat off for everybody because I know they'd rather have that off. So just give me a moment. Uh, I can't really answer questions all that well during a live stream because obviously I'm going to be concentrating on playing the game and not um, dying really. So, um... Yeah, if I can manage to answer questions, I'll do it, but obviously this isn't really a Q&A stream. So I'm just going to give it another couple of minutes of people to get back into the stream. But yeah, I will do more Q&A streams. Uh, so I'm going to do all of Water Hazard on this stream unless something disastrous happens and I have to start uh, stop streaming. Um, so I'm going to start Water Hazard from the beginning again. Because uh, last time we were doing the stream here, we did all the root canal and then the first bit of water hazard. But I'll just start water hazard again. Do all of that. And um, uh, my favourite part of the game is either water hazard or um, highway 17. The one with the car, even though most people hate the vehicle section in this game. Uh, my favourite Russian weapon is probably the AK-74. Or some like the more modernised AK-74s. Uh, I started doing live stream, I think, like a month or two ago, um, because I read up how to set up an encoder for it and all that, and then people seem to enjoy them, so sometimes I do Q&A videos with a webcam, sometimes I just sort of do game streaming. Alright, give it another two or so minutes, but yeah, when I was saying about chapters I like, um, so what has the one I'm going to be doing? We don't go to Ravenholm's great. Uh, Highway 17 and Sand Traps I also really like, although a lot of people for some reason don't seem to like those ones. I don't think the game's actually as good when you get near the end and it's a lot more shooting, because I don't think shooting as much as it is a first-person shooter, the shooting's necessarily Half-Life 2's strong point. Uh... If it's a filter that expired in 2015 space boundary and you used it for a bit, unless it was actually leaking anything, it would be perfectly safe. Uh, yeah, the Fallout player, I got the night vision camera. Annoyingly, I've already done a video of it that goes live on Sunday, I think. Um, it's not that great for taking photos and videos with without a tripod, because it doesn't have any stabilizers on it, because it's primarily used as an actual, you know, like night vision spotting scope. And it's like taking photos as a secondary function. Um, so the video that will be out this Sunday, it's a bit blurry and crap, but I'm going to try and get some better footage with it, but it's really good to use. You can see really well in the dark when you're actually using it, it just doesn't translate that well to actually saving pictures with it. Uh, yeah, I like war movies, Key, and I mean, it depends how well they're actually done, but, um, Where Eagles Dare is probably my favourite war movie, but that's a bit far-fetched. Uh, yes, if uh, Acolyte, if you're wearing like a white Soviet mask, one of the white grey Soviet masks in the snow, it wouldn't stand out that well. There have been a few camo masks that have been made before, but not very many. So, um, anyway, it's half past now, so let's actually start playing the game. I take it everybody can hear me fine. I'll turn off all these closed captions because we don't really need those on. Right, cool. Secret area up here. The pistol rounds though, not much there. There's a secret area up here where G-Man is, so we might as well get the supplies there and try and do all the water hazard in today's stream.
don't actually have the gravity gun yet, do I? So I can't uh, throw the barrels at them. Uh, regarding Gorka suits, whoever was asking me about that, sorry, I can't check with chat too easily when I'm in game. Um, only if I see one cheap. A lot of the time, Gorka suits are super expensive, and I've never actually heard a good reason why they should cost so much. Um, there are a couple of the full camo ones I actually do really like the camo patterns on, especially one that's kind of green and um, that yellowy kind of floral one. I think that looks quite good, but um, again, I wouldn't pay excessive amounts of money for. Um, Right, there was actually quite a lot of pistol ammo in there, which is good. I can't remember if there was a secret area on the left here as well. I thought it was there. Yeah, it's just a cage in here. The thing I've never get gotten in this is when people complain that the boat controls are really, really bad, because they seem absolutely fine to me. I mean, yeah, you want to play a race in the game with the boat and car controls in this, but it's fine for what you're actually doing in the uh, game. Float puzzle again. Uh, sadly, I don't think there is going to be a Half Life 3. The story actually got leaked what was meant to be episode 3 or Half Life 3 by one of the people in the quick battle. I try and steer into the crate so I understand. avoiding them but Another thing I find funny is when people complain about the uh, loading screens in Half-Life 2 despite the fact that they don't take very long at all, like is that 10 seconds of that? If I'd installed the game on an SSD they'd be even shorter. But, um, the weird thing is it seems to be getting popular now to actually hate on Half-Life 2, which is a real shame, but um, there seems to be loads and loads of people saying, well, Half-Life 2 is really a bad game. It's like a really, really bad game. Now, some of you were saying in the last stream that you can actually shoot the barrels here um, to skip this section. Um, I mean, I'll still do it properly anyway, because we're streaming. I know you can throw a grenade over there, but let's see if there is a way of shooting to do it. Oh yeah, I think it's that bit there, isn't it? If you're accurate enough. Was that the right barrel? If I haven't screwed over the bit now. Ooh. 
It's not meant to do that. Yeah, I'll do it properly anyway. Uh, I'll turn the game volume down a bit, but last time we were doing a stream, people kept complaining that then I made it too quiet. So I'll turn it down a bit more. Um, but other than that, it should be fine. Right, it's a bit quieter. Yeah, I did do this bit yesterday, or whatever day it was. I think it was Sunday, wasn't it? I was last streaming this, but I'm just starting the chapter from the beginning and doing it on normal. Because if you remember, I got to that bit where I hadn't got enough health at a checkpoint, and I kept getting killed over and over and over again. So I'm, um... Just starting this chapter from the beginning again. Spam grenades during this bit while I've got a lot of them. Okay, let's do this bit how I meant to actually do it. My favourite game is Time Split is Future Perfect. That was on the original Xbox, the PS2, and GameCube. Because um, that's just a really fun shooter. Uh, but I mostly play stuff on PC. Uh, just play with PC, PC that can pretty much run anything that's out at the moment. Obviously, you get the biggest game library possible if you're on PC. Oh, you can jump through there. I didn't actually, I know there's something about some Russian spies being poisoned or something, but I don't read the news as I said in a lot of videos because a lot of the news is just bullshit propaganda anyway. So I don't really read it. Oh, you can actually climb the ladders on there, which is pointless. Ah yeah, so the barrels I needed to destroy were those ones much further back. So yeah, I mean it might be possible to get an angle on those barrels from there, but it'd be pretty difficult.
and refill the grenades in the moment, so that's not a problem. I grabbed both the health in here. Anything in that corner behind the boxes? No. Okay, you stay in that. Right. Ah, uh, they're fictional APCs. I mean, a lot of the stuff in this game is based off of um, Soviet stuff, hence why all the guys have like SHMS PMG type masks on. Um, I was looking at some Half-Life 2 cut content, and one of the Combine soldiers in the game had um, the Czechoslovakian M10 mask on. It was like the actual Czechoslovakian one, not an M17, because the valves are all in the places the M10 had them. But yeah, I don't think these are based off any particular BTRs or anything. They're just meant to kind of look like futuristic APCs. What kind of weirds me out though on this, um, I'll have a look when I'm outside, is I thought this was just an isolated canal station, so why is there APCs in here? Does this connect to a road if I go out here and look to that side? I mean, yeah, there might, there might be meant to be a road or a tunnel on the other side of that, I guess, but... Um, if there was some um, nuclear type war thing, I wonder how much. Um, that's great, I managed to miss both of the boxes. Right, um, okay, this is the bit I got to the other day because this is where you kind of have an action sequence with um, a lot of the guys here. So um, let's see if I can get through it this time. Fine, I mean, I'm on normal, which should make it a lot easier. Is this the bit I kept buying it? I can't remember, because I know this one shoots loads of rockets at me. And then there's the bit with the fire. Yeah, this, this was the bit I kept buying it. So I'd absolutely breeze through it on normal, because I have so much health. But you do take a load of damage from that fire, regardless. And then you get your kind of safe spot up here, where you can find, I think, some cow from the pulley system or something. Yeah, I don't mind people calling me Liam um, and things. I mean, I think there's a load of links, caps in my YouTube stuff that has my name on it anyway. Right, so this is the one where there's the pulley in that one, isn't it? So you have to uh, take the bricks out, I think it is, and then... The other, that one drops down. Yep. The thing that's interesting in Half-Life 2 is I haven't got the actual Magnum yet, but you actually pick up the ammo from guns that you don't have. Which is quite a nice feature, actually, because a lot of games wouldn't do stuff like that. There's nothing else to see up here, is there? It's just the thing in there. Right. Nice and true, this. Yeah, lambda signs mean that they're secret areas, basically, or hidden supply places. Right, this is one of my favourite bits in the game, actually, the uh, docks here. If you've played the Zombie Master hod, uh, mod for Half-Life 2, this was the docks of the dead map that was like a modified version of this section of the game. Tell you what, I'm going to actually do a save game here because I like this bit so much. If I want to replay this bit at some point, I've got a save game from it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm in England, if people are asking where I'm from. I thought that'd be quite obvious with the accent. But saying that, I've been watching videos from people in really different countries, and they're not even, like, British expat citizens, where they actually just have very good English accents. Because I have a feeling I was reading somewhere that a lot of the time if people... Oh, it's a chop a bit here, isn't it? A lot of the time when people watch lots of, um, sort of foreign television, they pick up the accents from that. So, um, yeah, I imagine that a lot of people might sound British even if they're not, if they watch lots of stuff, but I don't have a proper accent, so it's not like, um, okay. So all the metro cops are now. I suppose I'm really meant to be using this, aren't I? Because this is a new toy they've given me, so... I say as I miss, like, every shot with it. Flying crate now, I've killed these guys. I know it just it just really annoys me, I think I said this in the other stream, when you go back and play games like Half-Life 2 and you've realised that games have kind of gone backwards since this point, rather than actually um, going forwards. See ya. What you arguing about? Coffee or tea? Uh, in the comments. Uh, I drink both coffee and tea, weirdly. Um, it's not like I'm a fanboy of one or the other, actually. Probably horribly wasting submachine gun ammo by shooting the boxes, but you get so much anyway, doesn't really matter. I don't normally use the submachine gun all that much in this because it's so inaccurate. Stroop waffles are nice if you have those. The um, I think they're Dutch, aren't they? Stroop waffles. It's where you get a um, sort of like caramel waffle thing. You um put the waffle uh, on a cup of coffee or tea and then the hot air coming out like the steam basically kind of melts the caramel in the middle they're really nice
cool now to ice in the gate. Right, now to carry on. I don't know what it was about this particular bit, but I think this is definitely one of my favourite sort of what set piece battles in Half Life 2. This one. Did I put my boat over by that dock? Yes, I did. No, this is Half Life 2, hence why the stream's called Half Life 2 Water Hazard. But, you know, Gmod is actually. was originally a Half Life 2. Um, sort of physics sandbox. I'm trying to look at my phone in the live chat and steer an airboat at the same time and everybody complains the airboat controls really badly, you can't really steer it when you the train, but apparently it's a bad one. Make up the mines. Right, let's do the drifting. No, this is a single player game. How would I terrorize other players? I mean, there's Half Life 2 Deathmatch, but I don't know if people even play that. But Counter Strike Source was sort of the multiplayer part of this game. Uh, am I going right or left? Apparently, not this way. That was a bad idea. So yeah, shut that down. Uh, I've kind of done stab-proof panels by using chopping boards, it's not the best thing. Have you seen Weapon Collector's video where he shows you where you can like, tie magazines together? Or use like chopping boards and all that sort of stuff to make a stab-proof vest? That's quite interesting. Half-Life 2 is also one of the first games to have proper physics as well. I don't know if there's any purpose to driving along here. Oh, there's an ammo crate, so that is kind of really good for doing it. But it might revolve around those people anyway. I don't think I'm meant to turn left in the next time because I'm meant to think I'm meant to go straight on. Can I drive up here for some reason? Uh, it's probably a bad idea. Why should a helicopter gonna come and strafe me if I do that for too long? Barnacles on the left, let's go right. Right. Yeah, basically, if you, um, do, uh, you can make a stat proof vest basically um, by layering lots of stuff. That's essentially what Kevlar is, is um, just a very strong sort of woven thing. 
There was an area up there that had some ammo in it, but whatever, I'll just skip past that. Let's avoid the tower as it comes down, big chimney. No, apparently that doesn't avoid it all that much. Alright, where's the gap? Assuming I'm not meant to be going left, but let's just see what's here. Oh, the burned out bridge, okay. Right, I actually find those APCs are way more dangerous than the choppers are when they just spam rockets. Right, and this is the bit where I get a little bit of relief. I think there's a couple of zombies here and you have to chuck a fridge or something that you're a cooker into a physics puzzle for you. Okay. Let's hit that little bridge on the wall on the loading screen. I'm going to stop the thing here. Okay, so let's do a quick save. You can also use nylon to make vests because ballistic nylon was the primary thing vests were made out of before Kevlar was invented. And then Kevlar's basically the same thing, it's just tougher per weight of it, so it obviously makes sense to use Kevlar, not ballistic nylon, because you can make a smaller vest that has the same level or better and level of protection. Okay, so we chuck that fridge in there. Fridge. Tumble dryer, is that? Washing machine? Okay, I need to find some more physics objects, don't I? To chuck in there. There's a chair that would have like no weight to it whatsoever. I suppose I'll take that barrel. Tire. Um, cinder block. Oh, I'm meant to pull that lever. Oh, yeah, there we go. I think you only actually need to do the um, tumble dryer, or whatever it is. Uh, I'm on the PC I built myself. It's uh, RX 480 is the GPU in here. I think it's 16 gigs of RAM I've got in it. It's only DDR3. Um, and what's the other thing? Uh, processors and RX. Sorry, uh, AMD FX 9590, which is kind of like the best chip you can have on some other boards, but it's horribly out of date. But it's still good enough for everything um, that you're going to kind of need at the moment. Kind of impressed that magnifying glass actually here, sort of works. This. this here is the dam. It's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here, a stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hydro plant. But getting there with that hunter chopper on your ass next to impossible. Good news is the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower going forward. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. Uh, I don't think it's actually run. Oh no, it does even. Yeah, it does actually render a zoomed in um, box under there, like milk crate or whatever it is. Yeah, 2004. Don't see that s sort of stuff in games anymore because it's all so lazy how they make games now. There we are. That's gone. Take that chopper down, and you should be able to tear on through the Eli's place. The 
freeman will accept this weapon, what supplication will be loaded ahead? Farewell, Dr. Freeman. For freedom! Give him hell, Doc. When you say Linux chicken, when you say how many valves does the GSR have, do you mean, um, like, input valves or outtake valves or both? Because it would have three valves if you consider one in each, um, each of the mask and then, um, like the XL now. I need to remember how do I open that gate? Is there just a switch here or do I take the airboat onto there? So, I assume I uh, drive the airboat up there. Right. This is the only time the airboat's actually difficult to control, is in a tight little place because when you knock the walls it sort of rebounds, but other than that it's quite easy. Can I actually destroy the APC? Yep, the funny thing is, as we were saying earlier in the chat, this is a game from 2004, and it just looks amazing for a game back, made back then, and everything about this game is kind of just brilliant. But, um, I know they've touched it up a little bit, I think it got ported to the Orange Box version of the Source Engine, once, um, I think it should be, uh, rockets down as well. Um, so yeah, I mean it's technically a newer version of Half-Life 2 than the version released in 2004, but um... Oh, you can destroy that as well. But, yeah, it's still very impressive for a 2004 game, just how much stuff was in this, how nice it looked. Was that a G-Man setting just then? I can't remember if I'm meant to go down here or this is just like, collect some, some, collect some supplies. Yeah, it's just a supply room. Am I just meant to drive through that fire? Or am I meant to go past that? Yeah. Still damages me, but I'm not really Oh, yeah, that is actually dangerous. Why is it when I have 18 HP that I suddenly run into another one of those? 
Let's hope it's put me back somewhere where I've actually got health. Uh, Gordon's got the hev suit on, hasn't he? So he wouldn't break his neck driving something. That's the same reason the barnacles don't break your neck when they pull you up. Health here. Alright, now I can take down the uh, APC. Hit me through that, okay. Oh, it's two ages. Okay. It looks like there's some explosive barrels behind that one, but I can't quite see it. The annoying thing is your gun has to recharge, but I don't think there's anything that tells you how long it's going to take to recharge. There we go, I've got 3 HP again. I hope there's some health in that one. Oh good, there is. Right. Now I have to ramp up something here, if I remember. Uh, do I break open um, one of these cargo containers? Is that it? I shoot the explosive barrels in there, I think. Yeah, that's it, then you can drive the air by through it. So his steering just randomly goes weird like that. Uh, whatever. Yeah, this becomes a video afterwards, um, Matthew. So, annoyingly, it's meant to show the live chat. Um, so if I respond to people's questions, it's meant to show that. But for some reason, it doesn't. So, um, yeah, you won't be able to see the live chats people did during the video, but um, the actual video itself, yes, will uh, appear. they managed to fit so many bombs into that thing. It's annoying about that recharge for the um cannon because there's no ammo indicator as far as I'm aware to see how long it's going to take to uh, recharge. Right, one HP, can I take him down? Oh yeah. Right, now I just have to be very careful. Um, 
until I um, find a health pack because I have no health. Is that a box there? Ah, nice, okay. Uh, now, I'll see if I can find it, because it's just funny out of interest, but um, the bodies that come out of the chopper are actually combined soldiers. Uh, so it's technically the first time you see the combined soldiers in the game. Until I've played this game too many times, because I know stupid stuff like that. Right, where did their bodies go when I blew up the chopper? It might depend where you blow it up. They've gone somewhere where I can't even see them. That was a bit annoying, but yeah. Um, when you um, shoot down a helicopter, normally there's dead combine soldiers floating in the water. But I can't see them. Anymore. Is that in the box back there? I'm just trying to get all the boxes before I move on, so I've actually got some health. It's just a cardboard box. Right, I'll just go to the end and back through in case I've missed anything. Where's that one there? Yeah, there we go. Combine soldier from the helicopter. So it's, this is technically the first time in the game you see them. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal out of this, but normally you don't see them after Ravenholm, but you do actually see them here for the first time technically. Yeah, I can't remember what day I've got the V Agent um, video scheduled for. It's quite soon, it's in the current week. It was meant to actually meant to, um, have the G Agent video uploaded, then the Blood Agent video, then the um, V Agents. But for whatever reason, I messed about with the video scheduling order, scheduling order, and they got out of schedule. Um, now, I think you might be able to jump that, however, you're meant to be able to get up there, aren't you? Because there's like a thing you open there, so let me have a look over there. It's annoying me because I can't remember the exact way up. Might be a ladder around here somewhere. Uh, occasionally stream games, yeah. Um, now, maybe I just ram the airboat into that thing and I'll fly up it, so let me try that, because I can't... I thought there was a ladder somewhere, but never mind. I think that doesn't really do anything. Oh, nope. Can I jump up there? I can't actually remember, then, how you're meant to get up there, but you're meant to be up there, because that's where the gate control switch is. Ladder is by the gate. Oh, the uh, gate that's... I've definitely taken the airboat up there before. Um, this gate. I mean, there's a ladder there that I won't be able to reach. So that's one that you're obviously meant to knock down once you've been up there.
Right, let's work our way along from this side then. Oh, is this the ladder you're on about? Ah, yeah, thank you, you go around. I suppose this is so you can't do it during the helicopter boss fight. Oh, um, yeah, I've been reading about that hunt down the free unit. looks absolutely awful. There was a free Half-Life 2 mod I downloaded that was quite fun. I played through earlier called, um, what was it, Half-Life 2 Downfall or something like that? It's not actually about Hitler in a bunker, though. It's, um... I oh, know I meant to go up there, I'm just seeing if I'm over here first. But it's actually just sort of a bit like Half-Life 2 Episode 2, where you're going around sort of a forest lake area and some mines. Right, so there's not much else to see here, hopefully. Let me just see if this for fun's sake if I can actually do the jump with the airboat again. When I replayed Half-Life 2 last year, that's how I got up there. Yep, that's it. Oh, is that the uh, secret Vortigan? I might as well go and do it, yeah, before carrying on. Don't think there's any point to this. There's a G-Man thing, isn't there? Um, that's the suit zoom button, if I want to look. I think, does G-Man appear by the dam? Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, let's have a look at the secret Vortigan before I uh, carry on with the mission. Do I need the airboat to get in there? Um, or is that another cave? Can't I think I've been there before? I just can't remember where it was. Let's have a wander around here first before I carry on. So I think I've asked this in the chat every time I've um, done a Half-Life stream. But has anybody played Zombie Master? Because that's really fun. Um, it's an old Half-Life 2 mod, but. Sadly, I don't think a lot of people have actually uh, played Zombie Master. I mean, I know I'm meant to be going down there for the uh, Black Mesa East, or whatever it's called. So I assume that's Ravenholm you're meant to be able to see over there, at the burnout building. Cool, I've done the thing so I can jump through it now. Uh, let's go look for that vortical. Hello, hello. I think technically if I stream later at night, more people watch because most of my subscribers are in America. But um, yeah, a lot of people on my channel aren't into video games. I generally get more people watching the stream if I'm doing a um, Q&A type stream. But it's quite easy for me just to stream playing video games. And if people enjoy watching them, then they might as well watch them. Hello. It seems like loads more people are actually coming on now. Um, so is it one of these pipes you're saying water gaunts in? Ah, I guess it's the one that's partially open. Now, can I... There we go. Now, can I just sprint through here without taking too much damage? I actually apparently haven't been here, at least on this release, because um, it's given me the achievement. We remember the free man. We are called Terminus. There is no distance between us. No false veils of time or space may intervene. We see you still in Black Mesa. 
clearly we see you in the Nailance Chamber. We bear witness to the bright eternity of the Nailance Dinner. You leave, you fall, we see you flash between the barriers. For at least time you joined us, you are one between the world. Is he going to give me a zap to repair my suit? That would be nice. And that other is deeper mystery. No deeper than the void itself. They look like cooked poison head crabs. Uh, they're, they're the fast head crabs, aren't they? Those, the poison head crabs are like the black ones with hair on them that kind of look like spiders. Yeah, those are fast head crabs. We cannot forget those whose cords you cut. Forgiveness is not ours to bestow. Unity of purpose, the shadow. Right, okay, yeah, I'm done listening to him talk. Uh, let's go to do black mysteries. Now, I'm assuming there's probably meant to be a way that you can take a box or something into here and do it that way to take less damage, but... There we go, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's worth replaying Half-Life 2 if you haven't played it in ages, because it's just so much better than a lot of the games that come out now. I mean, I think Half-Life 2 isn't perfect, there's lots of bits in it that could be improved upon. When I replayed it, the levels I didn't really enjoy were towards the end of the game, where it's a bit, you know, non-stop action. Because especially when it's like, take down Strider after Strider after Strider after Strider, and uh, gunship after gunship after gunship. But other than that, what a great game. It's normally good music in place here. I can't hear it. Or is it just low in the background? Uh, it's, it's quite quiet in the background. There we go. Let's just quick look around. I haven't played TF2 in ages. I liked TF2 when it was a lot simpler. I didn't like TF2 when they started chucking all the, um, you know, well, upgrades, you know what I mean? We could change loadouts, loads. It was alright to start with, but now the classes don't even play like they're meant to play. I was quite enjoying Overwatch, actually, but I haven't played that in a while. I'll have to um, get it to update off of Battle.net or whatever it is and um, play a bit more Overwatch at some point. Right, if everybody wants to carry on watching the stream, I might go for a quick break, and then I might start streaming again and do Ravenholm. I'll skip through, um, I'll skip through the bit with, um, you know, in Black Mesa East where everybody talks to you for ages, and then I'll just start the chapter at Ravenholm, and I'll do the Ravenholm bit if people want to watch that. Yeah, I mean, the amount of people watching the stream seems to really vary. Um, like I said, it seems to depend. If I do a stream at a weekend, I get a lot more people watch them. But, um, I think it really does sort of depend on, um, you know, like, day of the week, what I'm streaming. You know, and all that sort of stuff. Right, cool then. Um, I am going to take a break then. I shouldn't be too long. I just want to go to the toilet and stuff like that and get some water to drink. And then I will be back, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And then I'll start streaming Ravenholm. So thanks for watching everybody who was watching just now. And um Yeah, I will uh I think some of the pictures are wrong, because that doesn't look like war hazard that one. It looks like um the beginning bit in that picture. Uh but yeah, uh I will then carry on streaming and we'll do all the Raven home because I ended up doing water hazard in well under an hour, which is quite funny because people say water hazard takes you know, it's like a really long, boring level, but it took me far less than an hour to do. Yeah, if you want to take pictures, uh, Linux chicken, of the inside of your Avon C50, that would be interesting. You can then just post them somewhere or send them to me on Facebook or whatever. 
Uh, in most of my regular videos, not the streams, that has a link to my Facebook page. I'm not very good at checking it. I check it like once or twice uh, a week or something like that, but you can send them to me there or wherever. Right, anyway, I am going to uh, go for a bit and I'll be back soon and then resume streaming if people want to watch more Half-Life 2.